All right, today we're going to take a look at how to make our bullet points in PowerPoint a little bit more creative. Now, the first thing we need to discuss is the way in which we're going to use these bullet points. Something I want you to notice, um, obviously this is the typical PowerPoint slide that comes up when you open PowerPoint. And it says click to add a title. So this is actually a title text box. So let's click to add a title. And I'm going to make a list of names. So I'm going to put names. And just to make it look a little bit better, we're going to put to the left, and the names are going to be, well, we'll underline names just like we would. And then we're going to list, obviously, the names that we want to bullet point. And we'll make them Joe, Sam, Sue. And they're still underlined. We, we don't want them underlined. We don't want them to look like the title or the header, so we're going to take that underline off. We're going to make them a little bit smaller. All the way down to 24. Okay, so we got the names, and in our project, we want to bullet point Joe, Sam, and Sue. So we highlight Joe, Sam, and Sue, and right here under the paragraphs options is the option to add bullets. And you'll see bullet is to start a bullet list. And if we click the bullet list, we want Joe, Sam, and Sue all to be bolded. And when we click it, names becomes bolded. Obviously, not what we want. Now, if you want to write in your title slide, or I'm sorry, in your title text box, that's and bullet this part, then this is the way we want to go. So if we want to go names, pardon me, if we want to go names with a bullet point, and then list Joe, Sam, and Sue. We want to add the bullet point there, that was that would work. But that's not exactly the look we're going for. Here's what we want to do. We're going to highlight this, and we're going to delete it. Actually, we're going to left click twice, and we're going to delete the whole text box. And again, and we're even going to delete the subtitle text box by double clicking, hit delete on the keyboard. Let's go to insert text box. I'm going to left click, and I'm going to hold a text box. Now, this isn't a title text box. This is just a normal text box. And again, I'm going to put name. I'll make that a little bigger. About to 40. And we'll go Joe, Sam, and Sue, I think it was. We're going to underline name. Make these a little smaller. Okay. Now we want to add these bullet points to Joe, Sam, and Sue, so we're going to highlight these three and click on the bullets tabs. And now we have the bullets where we want them. That's a great start. So that's how we add bullet points to a list. And also how we just add bullet points to a title text box. Let's take it a step further, not just add black bullet points. We're going to highlight here. And you'll notice right here is the bullet point tab, but next to it is the arrow. If we left click that arrow, it's actually going to give us some options. And right here you can see there's different forms if we want check marks if we want um, just circles, boxes, and you can see down here that it changes with it. What we can also do if we click on bullets and numbering is give it even more options. Slide this, sorry about that, let's slide this over here so you can see. Let's say we want check marks, but we also want orange check marks. Now you can see it makes all the bullet points orange, but we have check mark selected so when we hit OK still black font but changed to orange check marks Let's say those check marks are maybe again we go to the bullets tab, tab the arrow next to it bullets and numbering maybe those check marks are a little bit too big so we're going to break that down to 50 and hit OK notice those check marks get a little smaller and obviously we go to the options you can make them a little bigger as well. Go all the way up to 150. Now you can see how much bigger those check marks are. But it's not just limited to what we see right here. We can also, if we go to customize, take a look at a very, very wide range of different patterns, letters, figures. You'll notice that there's options down here to change it. There's, you can put these in all these different fonts. So you can imagine all the options that you really have if you want to make that a bullet point. 
Or let's say we want to make a frown face. Let's say we're going to make a frown face. We don't really like like those three names. We're going to make a frown face, so we put OK. And we want to make it a green frown face. Okay. So now our bullet points are actually green frown faces. Last thing I want to show you. If we highlight again these bullets and we take a look at the options. There's also a picture option. If we left click on picture, Pardon, the computer's a little slow. We also have different pictures or images. Maybe we want... And these pictures are all in Microsoft Word. It's nothing crazy. Uh, just different symbols, different shapes. You can go through these if you like. But what we can also do is down here we can import any picture we want. Again, this has to be a picture that we've already saved. Once we click import, here we go. I already pre-saved a McDonald's slogan, so if maybe your um, slide has to do with McDonald's, we can double click on McDonald's. And now you'll see up here, which this was previously loaded, but that's how I loaded it the first time, a McDonald's symbol. So if we left click on that McDonald's symbol, click OK, those bullet points, as you can see, now become McDonald's symbols, or whatever picture you choose. If you want to get a, even a better look at it. We can enlarge those. Space them out a little bit. So that, to review, is how, one, it's important to make sure that the text box that you're putting bolded lists in are in a text box, not a title box. Once we get the correct box, we can highlight what we want listed, and up here's the bullet tab. Once we click on that bullet tab, you can also click on the arrow right next to it. And under bullets and numbering, there are a variety of different ways that we can change what each particular bullet point looks like. I hope that was helpful.